Hey guys, what's up? It's KB here. So one of the biggest update for Windows 11 is here. Windows 11 22 Edge 2 update is now available for everyone. And yes, this is the perfect time to upgrade to the Windows 11. If you're someone who is still using Windows 10 and want to upgrade to the Windows 11, this is the time. Yes, for existing Windows 11 users, you should upgrade to the Windows 11 22H2 right now because Windows 11 22H2 update brings many improvements and many new features. Even if you don't care about the new features, you should upgrade to the Windows 11 22H2 if you're using the Windows 11, the old one, because this version of Windows 11 is actually improved a lot. And many missing features and simple things that were not present in Windows 11 first release, uh, they are fixed now. For example, simple drag and drop that you can do on Windows 10 but you can't in Windows 11 is now you can in Windows 11 22H2. If you're on Windows 11 old version, I mean there is no two ways. You have to, okay? <laughs> you have to upgrade to the Windows 11 22H2. And guess what? I have been using Windows 11 22H2 ever since uh, Microsoft introduced many new features and improvements to the Windows 11 22H2 beta. So it's been around four to five months. I have been using Windows 11 22H2 on my main PC. Yes, let me tell you a good, maybe bad news for some people. Actually, mostly it's going to be a good news. The good news is that Windows 11 22H2 is going to be the last update for Windows 11 for next three years which is a good thing because we don't have to deal with the massive major updates sometimes you know these major updates can cause problems so for three years we can live tension free yay <laughs> and kind of a bad news is that after three years maybe in 2024 or 2025 we might see a next version of Windows, maybe Windows 12. Because of this major update change, many people are thinking that we might see a next version of Windows. That's like a little bit of sad news for some people because, you know, we have to keep upgrading to the next version of Windows. So that really sucks. Now, let me show you guys some of the new features in Windows 11 22H2. Uh, they are great. Okay. First major update in Windows 11 22H2 is that ability to add folders in start menu which was present in Windows 10 but wasn't in Windows 11 but now with Windows 11 22H2 update yes you can make folders and organize your apps games whatever in start menu. Huge update to the task manager. It is all new task manager with the dark theme. Yeah, now your eyes will thank you whenever you launch the task manager. <laughs> we also have a new action center here. The new notification panel will actually stay here even if you don't have any notifications or even if you clear all the notifications. With that, we have a do not disturb mode or button there. We can turn it on off and we also have a small improvement to the start menu where we can actually decide how many recommendations we want in our start menu we can make it look big and it will show less pinned applications or we can go default which will you know split the start menu or we can go more pins which will show you more pinned applications and less recommended applications and there are many other features that you can explore by yourself by upgrading to the windows 11 22h2 and uh, yeah these are some of the features that you see on daily use so yeah now maybe some of you guys may ask how do i get the windows 11 22h2 update you can go to the windows update and check for update and you'll get the windows 11 22h2 update if your pc is compatible that's the simplest way or go to this microsoft's official website from here you can actually download the windows 11 22h2 iso file or a upgrade assistant tool which will help you to upgrade to the windows 11 22h2 that's it hope you enjoyed it guys if you still have any questions or any suggestions for me please do the comment yeah we can have some chit chat in the comments yeah <laughs> that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye